Okay. So you can probably keep running because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a cumulative review here. So first thing we did was we talked about notes, right? And the notes you write them not kindergarten like that, right? You write them like that or like that, right? And if it's on a space, it stays inside the space, right? The middle line here is generally where you decide where the stem goes up or the stem goes down, right? So if I have, a, in general, if I have four notes written like this, if I'm going to do two, two beams on each one, I would use two here that go straight up, and then this one goes down, and this one goes down, right? Usually. But composers break this rule all the time. It's all about how it looks when you, get, when you hand it to somebody. Right? It's all about the way you make it look nice and neat and pretty. Elegant is the word they want to use. Okay, so we can write it like that, but if we have a passage that's connected by four like that, people, people write it like this and keep going. Or they can do this. So it's really like a composer's choice. Okay, now a lot of times you'll see music written like this. goes against the rules completely, right? Why? These are all pointing up, these are all pointing down. But we see that a lot in keyboard music because they want to separate the direction just so you can see the music better. In other words, if we wrote it like this, to the rule, if you're doing it like that or like that, and you want to write it like this. You, know, you see piano music all the time, where you've got a note here, and a note here, that goes up. like that all the time. Okay, so the stems usually go up on the middle line, but composers break the rule all the time. Okay, clefs. You get this clef, also written like this. And we got this clef, and we got this clef, and we got this clef. What are these called? Camille, you raise your hand. Oh, okay. Oh, what are you asking, sir? What are they called? Clefs. 
Which ones? Treble. Treble, right? What's that one? Bass. Bass. Huh? Alto. Alto, yeah. And? Tenor. <laughs> you got it? Write it down? Wait, for alto and tenor, is it because where they're at on the scale? Um, yeah, see the, the middle line here? Yeah. That's C right there. That's the note C. This line here? C up there. So in other words, we've got this middle line here. That's a C in an alto clef. Right through that line. The tenor clef, this line. You see how I raise it up a little bit? So that's going to be on the third line? Yeah. Right. Second, second from the top. Okay, so for scales now, what scale did we study? Dead silence, huh? Okay, we're doing it for two months. <clears throat> what? What scale have we been studying? Major. The major scale. Yeah. We haven't really done the minor, we just dabbled in it for a split second. So for the major scale, I got this right here. I'm going to start here on G and write it out alphabetically, right? We got our formula, right? You should know it by now. Out loud? Then what? Okay, so now, the next step is we look at the scale and we want to assign each note a number. So what do we, what do we call each note? What? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one or eight. Okay, so a major scale has no modification of those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straight up. A minor scale, what do we do to the minor scale? We modify the major scale, right? Right. So, for a minor scale, Three kinds. First one is melodic minor. Second one, harmonic minor. And the third one, a natural minor. It's also called relative minor it's also called aeolian so for the melodic minor the old style classical way to do it is you go up one two flat three four five six seven one going up Going down, we, we go one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one. That's the old style from 1600s up until like the 1800s, doing it that way. The modern style ignores this different way of going down and just one, two, three, one, two, flat three, four, five, six, seven, one. So, melodic minor scale has a flat three. 
next one, we have one more modification in the harmonic minor scale. One, two, flat, three, four, five, flat, six, seven, one. And the natural minor scale is one, two, flat, three, four, five, flat, six, flat, seven, one. So we got one, and this one's got two. So the melodic minor scale has one modification. The harmonic minor scale has two, and the natural minor scale has three modifications. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Just copy that down. So we've just been studying the major scale so far, right? Right. The minor scales, we haven't gone into yet. We we're just we're just touching on those right this second, okay? We're just showing you that they're a modification of the major scale. You got it? Okay, I'm gonna need some more room here, so. So, major scales, whole step, whole step, half step, right? And that thing, the first four notes of a scale, do you know what they're called? What? Tetrachord. Right? The tetrachords? We got first one is whole step, whole step, half step. And that's called a major tetrachord. Okay, what's the next one? What can we do with that, Camille? We can take this arrangement and make that half step over here, right? So we can go. That's no longer a major tetrachord, it's some other kind of tetrachord, right? So, we call that a, a minor tetrachord. Okay, and then what's the third one? We just move this over one more, right? Because we got a half step, whole step, whole step. Call that a natural tetrachord. So those are the three types of tetrachords that are just based on whole steps and half steps. Now there's one more that's that's used a lot. Below the line, we go this is a whole step. Well, uh, actually, sorry, half step, one and one half step, and half step. So that looks like this on the string. So you know, the half 
half step. One and a half steps. Half step. That's a harmonic tension chord. So these are the three basic ones. And here's one that's used a lot, mostly in the harmonic minor scales. Half step, one and a half steps, right, right there. So write that down. Picture it, take the camera shot. The new trend. taking pictures instead of writing them down, huh? Saves your memory. Okay, so what can I do? Don't erase the bottom. So far, we're in scale. We've only been studying this first kind of scale, right? Plenty more scales in music theory that go on for pretty much into infinity. It's like math. But I just want to give you a general idea of what the major scales compose of. Okay, so you got it? Yeah. All right. Okay, so now we did notes and clefs, we did scales. What about key signatures? Okay, so we talked about sharps, right? Do you remember the remember the basic rule to figure out the key signature real quick? Five. I got this key signature. What's what's the quick way to do it? Remember, you take the last sharp. Oh, and you move it up. And you move up a half step, right? Remember that? It's in your notes. I saw it. Oh, yeah, I remember. So you take this note, and you go up one half a step. So if that's C sharp, up a half a step equals what? C D sharp. D. D, sorry, so no D sharp is D. Because it's a half step. C sharp to D is a half step, right? Here's your chromatic number line. Here's C sharp. One half step away is an OD, right? Yeah. Is it C sharp to D sharp the whole step? We go up a half step to guess the key, right? C sharp up a half step. We just talked about that. It's D, right? It's D, right? Just D. Just D. That's our key. Last sharp. Uh, it's that one, isn't it? Or is it G? On this space right here, right? G. G. So it's G sharp, isn't it? So that's another G sharp, right? Yeah. So G sharp. Up a half a step. Equals what? A, right. So our key is A, right? So that's the key of A, isn't it? 
that make any sense? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what that key is. Is the last one on the space or on the line? It goes this way, right? So this would be the last one, right? Yeah. So it's on the line, isn't it? It's a D. D so sharp, isn't it? D sharp. It's a D sharp. It's an E. Right. E. Good. Does that make sense, Camille? Yep. That's the key of E. Okay. How about you, Donovan? Does it make any sense? All right. How about that one? What's the last sharp? Jumped ahead, the key is B, right? Ozzy, do you understand why it's a key of B? Yeah. Because this is the last sharp. Yeah, that's an A sharp, step. right? You know, the half step would be that, would be B, right? Yeah. So that's a key of B. Okay. Now, do you remember, remember the order of the sharps? What is it? F. A. No. F, C, G, G, A, E, B. Remember that? That's the order of the sharps. What was the sentence? Remember that sentence? You had a page of sentences? Fat cats give dogs an endless battle. Okay. Now, what about flats? It's backwards, not the flats. Flats are B, E, A, B, G, C, F. That's flats. They're all flat, right? So flats and sharps are backwards from each other, okay? You copy that? Yeah. So, you remember the rule for the flex? It gets the key. With sharps, the last sharps up a half step, right? Yeah. So that's set. Flats has a different rule. Did we go over this? Yeah. I don't remember this at all. Yeah. I just remember sharp. Okay. <laughs> Flats, the second to last is the key itself. So this is the last one here, right? So that one would be the second to last, isn't it? Wouldn't it? Right. And that's on the B line, so it's a B flat, right? So the key is B flat. Because that's the second to the last one, and that's the key right there, B flat.
those four flats. So what's the second to the last one? Right, that one there, right? So that would be A flat, right? Make any sense? Yeah. this one. What's the second to the last one? E. E. Flat, right? E flat. You're getting it. Don't erase it. So there's a second to the last one, right? So that's E flat. second to the last flat right there. And that's on the D line, so that's D flat. Uh, question. Going back to the sharps. Um, last sharp up a half step. So that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Here's the rule you want to copy down. For keys. You got it? Okay. 
So we did key signatures. Now, real quick, circle of fifths. Remember how that works? Okay. If we have the circle of fifths, I start out by writing as the matrix of fifth because it's easier to understand. So we start with the C scale, right? We, because C has no sharps and flats, right? So to get to the next key that has one sharp in it, I count up to what? Circle of fifths, right? Yeah. So I go up to the fifth note, right? So that would be this note right here, right? We count up one, two, three, four, five, right? And we start the next key based on G. So we go G. put in our whole steps and half steps and figure out the key that way, right? Or we can do the shortcut, which was go to the seventh tone, right? There's seven, right? We go to our seventh tone, and that automatically is the sharp. Automatically becomes the new sharp. So F sharp is in that key. It's one sharp. So that's the, the next key, always the seventh tone is sharp. So after G, we go to the fifth note again, right? That's our next scale, right? The fifth tone is right here, right? So our next scale with two sharps is going to be that key, so it's going to be D. Do the slow way of figuring out whole steps and whole steps and half steps, right? But what's our shortcut? Seventh, seventh right? First of all, the seventh. And then what, what else do we do? We carry over or retain the previous sharps, don't we? So in this key, is going to have that one automatically in it. We carry it over to the next one. Automatically. So Ozzy, what's the next key after D? A? A, right. Because that's the fifth one. So we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, so our new sharp is going to be the seventh one, right? Camille? The new sharp is going to be this one, right? So that's our new one. And we retain or carry over the previous two, don't we? So this is gonna be carried over to here, right? And this one's gonna be carried over to here. So, key of D, we have two sharps, right? Key of A, we have three sharps. Are you with me on that? So the next key is going to have four sharps in it, isn't it? Yeah? And the key is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Key of E, right? So it goes E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So our new sharp is going to be the seventh one, right? That's the new sharp. And then we re retain all these, right? So we retain C sharp, we retain F sharp, and we retain G sharp. So the key of E is going to have four sharps in it, right? Next key, one, two, three, four, five. B, key of B, right?
So, Donovan, what's our new sharp going to be? A sharp, right? And what are the what are the ones we retain? So we want to retain the F sharp, right? The G sharp, the C sharp, and the D sharp. Key of five sharps. So what's the key of six sharps? F sharp, right? What's our new sharp going to be? The last seventh one, right? It's going to be E sharp, which is also the note F, right? Now we retain C sharp right from here. We retain D sharp from here. We got F sharp already. We got A sharp here, right? And we got G sharp here. So F sharp has six sharps. Okay, now you remember the, the other no-brainer? What do we got here? The key of C is zero sharps and flats. The key of C flat equals seven flats. The key of C sharp equals seven sharps, right? So the next key that has seven sharps in it is going to be C sharp. So every single note's sharp. So it's going to be C sharp, D sharp. D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. Okay, so the next thing you want to be aware of is this column here, all these sharps, the seventh tone, that's our order. We got F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp, right? That's our order. So if we write that order out, it's going to be F sharp, C, G, D, A, E, B. Fat cats give dogs an endless battle, right? And on the staff, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, F, C, G, A sharp, F, C, G, D, A, E, and B. Fix that. So they fall in that order, F, C, G, D, A, E, B. And this is why, because the way we write out our scales, our matrix of fifths, they fall in that order, and that's the order that we use when we write them out. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, sharps. And that's sharps. And I'm running out of time to go over flats, but another time, next time. So copy this down. Thank you.